Hi everyone, my thought for today. How often have you seen people that are really good at what they do and yet they're not getting the recognition or being paid what they're worth, right? Or how many times have you thought and felt like you've done everything you know to do and yet you still didn't get the results that you had hoped for? Well, several weeks back, I was reminded of a verse or a quote actually that I, I went searching for and found it actually came from the Bible, which surprised me. But this is it, you'll know what I think. The race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, nor food to the wise, or wealth to the brilliant, or favor to the skilled and learned, but time and chance happen to us all. All right? Now, the thing is that it doesn't always matter how good you are at doing something. Sometimes, how many times have you seen somebody that's not as good at, as even what you could be doing? You know you could do better, and yet they're the one making the money. They're the one doing well. I just have this one thing to suggest. Where it says time and chance, it had me a little bit in a quandary because this was written by King Solomon and it came from the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 9, verse 11. Now, King Solomon is known to be um, the wisest king that ever lived. And for him to use the term time and chance just seemed to go crosswise of, you know, someone who believed that there's a God that orchestrates things intentionally, that intervenes and um, you know there is no accidents and there are no coincidences and so it made me want to stop and I did a search on this word chance. Now the thing is that chance only appears twice in the Bible. Other chances are there but this this particular chance only appears twice and it's more than just a disruption it's more than just a calamity or um, an unexpected event that causes a turn in things and the way that they go. But it's actually an implication of a divine moment, a divine intervention. And there's also the implication that um, it provides opportunity for intercession, for prayer, for um, entreaty, and for actually calling upon God to make a difference in the outcome. You know, think of people like the Gideon and his army of 300. That battle didn't go to the strong, you know. And there's uh, so many different incidences in the Bible that are like that. But basically, I want you to consider this. The next time you think you're doing everything that you could possibly be doing to reach your goals, to set your objectives, to make your plans, please go ahead and do all of that. The Bible says that to man belong the plans of the heart, but it's God who orders his steps. Just remember the God in the process, because I think sometimes he gets forgotten, and then we don't take into account the difference that that could make. So time and chance divine intervention happened to us all.